Alrighty, welcome to another wonderful lesson of Pro Mandarin. Now you're probably asking yourself, how do I know if my cooking is any good? Maybe you're asking yourself, do I sing well? And the problem is, is that you'd have no way to ask a Chinese person this and have no idea what they're saying if you don't watch this video. So I'm going to teach you how to say this and much more. Now you're probably asking yourself, looking at all this Chinese thinking, can I learn all this in one lesson? Well, let's find out. All right, let's jump right into it. So first we have ta, which means he or him. And then we have ta, which means she or her. So that's the only pronoun that we're going to go over at this point in the lesson. Okay, now over here on the left, we have zhe, which has a few different meanings. It means this, these, or here. But in this case, we're just going to mean this. And then na, which means that, those, or there. But in this case, we're just going to use it to mean that. And I'll show you how that works in just a second. So the first piece of vocabulary in this next column is ding. Now, ding means movies, and then there's bu just before it. So bu is a classifier, a measuring word for movies. And in English, we also have measuring words as well. So one of the best ways to explain what a classifier is, is if I were to ask you, can I get some sugar? And you're probably thinking, well, maybe not today. But if I was being a little bit clearer about it, like saying, could I get a bag of sugar or could I get two cubes of sugar, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. So the bag or the cubes would be the classifier or the measuring word. Now in Chinese, they use a classifier for every noun that there is. Now in this case, bu is the classifier for dian, which is for movies. However, there is a classifier that is a generic classifier that's used for everything. So if you can't remember bu or some of these other classifiers, that's okay. You can use this other classifier and I'll show you what that one is right now. So for the next piece of vocabulary it is zhen which means person as you can see it looks like a person walking and then the classifier for it is ge. Now this is the default classifier. So then the next word is shu which means book and button is the classifier for that. All right and then the last one in this column is ge which is song and then shou is the classifier for that. So the way that this works, we'll go over the first couple. 这部电影 is this movie. 那部电影 is that movie. 这个人 is this guy or this person. And 那个人 is that person. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and move on to the next column. The first phrase we're going to have is 怎么样? So that's going to turn this into a question. 怎么样 means how was it or how is this? How is that movie or this movie? So when we put it all together, when we say something like 这部电影怎么样? How is this movie or is this movie any good? That's what we're saying. So another way to say that is Halma. So Halma in this case is very similar to Zemiya. It means is it good or again how is it? Now just so you know you can use this as well for any of the pronouns when you're talking about like Ni Halma, how are you doing? Ni Zemiya, how are things going or how are you doing? Now below that we're going to have some more words here and we're going to split the Hal and the Ma up and in the middle we're going to put two different words. The first one is Ting which means to listen to. And then the next one is kan, which means to see, to look, to watch, any of those things. So the way that works is hao ting means it sounds good. Hao kan means it was good to watch, or it was a good read, or it looks good, or something like that. And then you put ma at the end and it turns it into a question. So we're going to go over a few examples here. The first one is to ask, how is this movie? Or how was this movie? The way you'd say it is, 这部电影好看吗? 这部电影好看吗? All right, cool. So let's do another couple examples here. So in order to answer that question saying, this movie is good, you could say, 这部电影好看? 这部电影好看? Now another example could be, is that song any good? Or does that song sound good? So the way you would say that is, 那首歌好听吗? 那首歌好听吗? So with that, let's go ahead and get a little bit of practice in. So after I ask you each question, I'm going to give you a few seconds to give you some time to answer the question. Now, if it's still not enough time, just feel free to pause the video if you need to. So that way you give yourself a little extra time there. All right. So for the first one, how would you say, does she look good or is she good looking? Or another way of saying that you can say, so Zhangde is another way to say how someone looks. Now using the ta Zhangde, how would you say she looks good or she's good looking? Ta Zhangde hao kan. Ta Zhangde hao kan. Now alternatively, you can again leave out the Zhangde. You can say ta hao kan. Or you can just simply say hao kan. 
So if somebody asks you, "Ta hao kan ma?" you could say, "Hao kan." Now, there's other ways of talking about how somebody looks good or bad or whatever, but this is just to get you the idea of how to use these phrases here. All right, now how'd you say, "How's that person doing?" It could be, "How's that person doing?" or "What is that person's personality like?" But let's see if you can try to figure out how you'd say that. 那个人怎么样？那个人怎么样？ Now you could also say, 好吗？那个人好吗？ As in, how's that person doing? But if you were going to ask, is that person okay? Is that guy okay? Like maybe he got hurt or something. You might say, 那个人还好吗？ So you'd add in a little 还好。So 那个人还好吗？ All right, cool. Let's move on. So then, how would you say, how is this book? Or is this a good book? 这本书好看吗？这本书好看吗 ？Or alternatively, you could say 这本书怎么样？这本书怎么样 ？All right. Now, before we move on to the next part, I'm going to give you three questions that you can answer in the comments below. So the first one is, does this person look good? The next one would be, how is he or how is he doing? Now, the last question is going to be, that is a good movie or that was a good movie. You'd say it exactly the same way. Now let's go ahead and move on to the next section. But before we do that, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. It really helps me out, so I can continue to make quality content like this video. All right, now back to the lesson. All right, welcome back. Let's go ahead and get into part two here. So if you know your pronouns, you can go ahead and skip ahead. If not, go ahead and stick around. I'm gonna go over those real quick. So the first one we have is wo, which means I or me. Then we have ni, which means you. Then we have ta, which means he or him, as well as ta, which means she or her. All right, welcome back to those that skipped the pronoun section of the lesson. We're gonna have a few words here up at the top. We're gonna have 昨天 which is yesterday, 今天 which is today, and 明天 which is tomorrow. All right, now so you're gonna be able to select any one of those, and then below it you're gonna have 的个长的 or you're gonna use 唱的 Now, what you're asking here is, how is someone at singing? The column on the left is going to be very clear about what you're saying, and it's going to be whether or not somebody was just singing or anything like that. But you're just making sure that the listener knows that you're talking about the person singing. And then changda is also meaning the same thing, but it's typically something you'd say right after somebody just sang, so that way you know for certain that they're talking about singing. And this will be paired up with one of the Pronouns on the left. So the next one is bang chiu da de. So what you're asking here is, is how well I play baseball, or you, or or how well they play baseball, or something like that. Now you could just say da de if they knew that you were playing baseball, or if you're already talking about, it, or they just watched you play baseball. Then you could just say da de, and then follow it up with zeme yang or hao ma or something like that. However, if you just say like wo da de zeme yang, they're not going to know what you're talking about because da by itself means to hit. So it could be referring to other sports, or it could be referred to fighting or boxing or something like that. So with that, let's go and move on. So for the next one is zuo de cai. So zuo de cai is the food that was made. Now when you pair it up with one of the pronouns like the food that was made by me or the food that was made by you or the Food that was made by her or whatever. This is the clearer way of saying it, whereas "zuo"da is not very clear because "zuo" means to do or to make or to cook. So unless they knew that you were talking about food, you can't really just say "zuo"da all by itself. But there is a way that we can get around that, and I'll show you about that in just a little bit. All right. So the last one is the "huar huada" and "huada." So this person's drawing. How do they draw? Or if you already know that you're talking about a drawing, like how's my drawing, or how well did I do at drawing, then you could just say huada, or how well does he draw, and you could just say huada. As long as they know that you're talking about drawings. All right. Now before I start giving you some examples here, we're gonna add in the word chu into this little section over here. So chu by itself means to eat. And usually it's paired up with another character to really understand, so people know that you're talking about eating food. However, in this case, 好吃 means it tastes good, or 好吃吗 does it taste good? So you can see how you can pair that up with the 做的菜 or 做的 and then that way people will know exactly that you're talking about does this taste good, or what he cooked or what I cooked does it taste good? Now I'm going to give you a couple examples here. So the first example is how about tomorrow? So 
you wouldn't say, how are you doing tomorrow? But you could say, how about tomorrow? Let's meet tomorrow, that kind of a thing. You could say, 明天怎么样? Whereas if it was 今天 or 昨天, that was today or yesterday, that's pretty clear that you're asking them, how are you doing today? Or how were you doing yesterday? So then I'm going to give you one more example here. And then I'm going to give you some practice. So if I were to say, you sang good or you sing well or something like that, the way I would say that is, 你的歌唱得好听。你的歌唱得好听. Or alternatively, I could say, 你唱得好听。你唱得好听。你唱得好听。so let's go ahead and get in a little bit of practice. Now, there's probably at least three different ways to say this based on what you see here. But how would you say, how's my cooking? 我做的菜怎么样? 我做的菜怎么样? Now, don't feel bad if you got a different answer than that because there are at least two or three other ways of saying this. So you could also say, 我做的菜好吃吗? 我做的菜 好吃吗? And also, let's go ahead and give you another one. 我做的好吃吗? 我做的好吃吗? That last one allows them to know that you're talking about food because you said 好吃吗? But still, the 做的 by itself doesn't really make it clear. So you'd want to make sure you follow it up with 好吃吗? Or you follow it up with a nice plate of food. So then, how would you say, how are her paintings or her drawings? Or is she a good artist? How would you say that? 他的画画的怎么样? And then another way you could say that is 他的画画的好看吗? Or you could actually just use the first portion of that first column. You could say 他的画好看吗? That's like saying do her paintings look good or do her drawings look good. Another way you could say it though is if she's a good artist is 他画的好看吗? So I hope when you're looking at this lesson, you don't get too bogged down going, oh my gosh, which one should I use? Which one's the best? Don't worry about that. It's fine. Because what's going to happen is, is when you start to explore using these methods of speaking, what you're going to find out is that you're going to hear a lot of these same phrases. You'll be able to fine tune your understanding and the feeling that you have towards those phrases so that you'll understand really what it means and how they use it. Let's do a few more real quick. So for the next one, how would you say, how are you today? 你今天好吗? 你今天好吗? Now, you could also leave off the 你 because it's already inferred when you're talking to somebody. You can say 今天好吗? 今天好吗? All right, let's go ahead and do one more here before we finish up today's lesson. How would you say, am I good at baseball? Or how am I at baseball? Now, again, there's like at least three or four different ways to say that here based on what you see. So how would you say that? 我棒球打得怎么样? 我棒球打得怎么样? Or you could also say, 我棒球打得好吗? 我棒球打得好吗? And again, you can also say, 我打得怎么样? But of course, this last one is, they already know that you're talking about playing baseball. Otherwise, they're going to be confused about what it is you're hitting or what it is that you're playing. All right, so before we wrap up today's lesson, let's go ahead and go over a few more questions that you can answer in the comments below. So the first one is, does he look good? The second question is, how about tomorrow? Now we said, 明天怎么样? How else could you say that? Based on what I showed you earlier in the lesson. And then for the last question, how would you say, how were you yesterday? All right, cool. That wraps it up for today's lesson. Now please be sure to 点赞, 订阅, 和分享我的视频, or in other words, like, subscribe, and share my videos as well. And until next time, 下次见。